everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to our Minecraft mod review with me. And today, today we're back looking at the Jutsu Kaisen mod. It's on version 1.20.1 on Minecraft, and we're up to version 29 now of the mod. 29 now, not so that I know. But yeah, anyway, so what do we get this update? This is actually quite a surprising update. They've added a thing that I, I, I never would have expected. So yeah, we got some new mobs. That was pretty cool. We got some new moves, expanding move sets to certain characters. That's pretty cool as well. Get some fun new mechanics that just make sense for, you know, how certain things work for having followers and stuff. Made, made a new mechanic for interacting with certain mobs. Okay. And then we got an entirely new way to play the game. Which I think was the most surprising one. I, yeah, I, 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 don't think, I wasn't really expecting that one. But yeah, anyway, so starting gear, same as always. Get your stuff, get your boot, get your insect, boom, ba dum Right now, I'm, I've got uh, Air Dory's class. I keep calling it a class and stuff, but I've, I've got Air Dory's like, Oh, we also got a new structure. Uh, yeah, that's it over there. Yeah, we'll look at it in a second. Uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, all this stuff is boom, ba dum Yeah, that's, so that's the same as always. Let me go over here. And uh, yeah, some, some new mechanics have been entered into the, into the world. So... I can say I was expecting this one. This one, this one's an odd one as well. So basically, there are, well, from the mod makers video, at least at least four characters. But these ones make sense. So if we go into slash difficulty normal, and we summon this chap. Cool. So uh, yeah. Normally, when you go into the game, he might be an enemy, depending on you know who you are and stuff. Uh, not normally though. Normally, he's on your side. But then we get this guy. And you get this guy, and you get this guy, and they will be your well, unless you're Adori. Tell us all leave you alone if you're Adori. But yeah, unless you're Adori, these guys are gonna come and attack you. There's no mechanic in the game you can make friends with them, which I believe is under the condition of you beat them in battle, and after that they'll be friendly with you. A.K. They'll act as if like the same way as Chozo would to Adori, in that they won't just straight up attack you endings which uh it makes sense because you know from manga they're you know ones from the culling games that people do them so yeah kind of something special that's that, that a little, little thing added in so basically you just make friendly friends with you know certain people so it does technically mean that they might assist you in fights and stuff after and stuff so and it means you know obviously they won't just be gunning for you and things so that's an interesting mechanic with how that's gonna work. That's, that's, a, that's certainly a thing. And we go for another new mechanic that was added in. So if you take followers, uh, followers were a bit weird before. Essentially, they would just kind of do what they want. They would float around the place and they would basically just keep teleporting to you whenever you got too far away from them. Now they have a follow mechanic. So now basically, if you run around, they will actually actively try and follow you. Apparently they've decided they are enemies. Do you are you normally violent towards everyone? Why did I think you were chill with people? Ah, whatever. Anyway, yeah. So basically, uh, yeah. If you if you summon a person, know that's you know on your side. So this goes for I, I believe anything that has a follower. So obviously there's a uh, game for that. Uh, get those one that's got a lot of things that can be following me. all with his uh manipulated humans and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, the basic idea is. Get a thing, have it follow you, it'll never follow you around. I, 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 I think it's quite nice. It's it's quite a nice little change because then they don't just warp around. They'll actually, like, if you want to go somewhere, they'll actually just follow you around. So it's a small little change, but I mean, okay, so you, it's a new mechanical thing in. And then moving over to Gil, he got some new stuff going on. So, uh, sell a lot of things. Would you... Yeah, there we go. Uh,. <laughs> You now have an ability in creative mode, obviously, to give yourself essentially just a lot of different curse parts. Uh, which I believe the idea of this is like the same way as like you know if if you are fighting against Gale himself, uh, it gives you basically the kind of set amount you would expect from the have. So you know things like you know the centipedes and stuff. It doesn't give you things like Jogo and stuff, so you still have to go and hunt those. But it does mean if you're gonna go and create one, just give yourself a full stock to start with. You definitely can, which. I don't know, I guess it'd be kind of cool if there is like a thing for if you, you know, you know, when you die, obviously, you te technically normally lose all your curses and things, unless you set to not to. Uh, there's the possibility of just being able to start with certain curses after dying, that might be a fun thing. Although it may also just be an annoying thing, because you may not want them. Hard to say, really. Anyway, also squids. Squids are things. So, uh, when you shoot squids, they, they fire out at things. Uh, there's another thing so you can hold shift at them so you don't get the black mist in the way. And yeah, they, they shoot out like darts. 
that's that's kind of cool. That's the whole thing. Uh, yeah, just just little mechanics for uh, for Gitto here. It's just some fun stuff, and it's not done because there's another thing for him as well. So if we go over uh, here, so normally if we activate our domain expansion, it would summon that thing, and it'll just destroy this thing in the area. And typically, uh, there are two people in the game that have open well, two and a half. Uh, the, the, the technically, uh, get to, uh, well, Kenjaku technically and Sukuna have open domains. So kind of this Mega Meme, but like Mega Meme's one's more incomplete domain, and his one just kind of covers over anything in the surface area around him. So it's it's, it's a weird one. But the Kenjaku and Sukuna have open domains. Like you now have the option to make a closed domain if you shift and activate your domain expansion. You will create a closed domain for said people. So now if you do want to, you can in fact just trap people in. And I'm imagining the effects are going to be fairly similar. So if I grab, you know, little, like, little, 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 who's, a, who's a random person, that thing is loud. Uh, <laughs> you know what I grab for this? Who's, a, who's an alright person we can grab that's not going to activate a domain? I, 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 grab a Dory, sure, why not? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, the effects are in the same. Well, even though it's not close to me. I don't know if technically the effects are technically, like, maybe they're weaker because it's a closed domain. Because a part of it being open domain is maybe they're stronger. I don't know the mathematics of it because I haven't really tested it, but... Yeah, anyway, that's that's a thing we can do now. And yeah, obviously if we switch over to the Sukuna, we do a Malevolent Shrine. Same deal. Can... Yeah. Do his one tool. So... Yeah, that's the whole thing. That's, 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 that's your little mechanical thing in there. It's just a bunch of new mechanics in this update. It's, a, it's a quite a... It's quite a mix of things I just wasn't really expecting to get added in. And so far, yeah, all of it seems pretty cool. Like, some of it's just little little things. Like, you know, you can make friends with certain people that, you know, it makes sense you can make friends with them. Uh, things like the followers following you. Okay, there's little things. The closed domains, those are those are quite an interesting twist. That's giving the, those domain users options. That's That's a fun one. And, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, that's just kind of scraping the top uh, parts of this update. Also, might as well go up here and have a wee check it. This is also, yes, the, uh, what is, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll deal with that in a second. Uh, <laughs> secret room slightly exposed there. Anyway, yeah, there's a new structure. It's quite a big one, quite a cool looking one. Uh, it is, I believe, maybe the Zen compound. So, uh, I, I, I mean, I believe that's what it was called when I slash located it. I believe it was called the, 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 the Zen's home. So, yeah, basically, you got big old, big old house area that you can technically wonder about, which I love this. This looks awesome, and it gives me the vibe from back in Demon Slayer, where you'd spot other big, like, structures, big house structures with spawn and stuff. So, that's neat. But, uh, yeah, she obviously go and share. Can we find some cool stuff? What is, wait, wait. It's a player. I was about to say, what is that? What is that? What is, what is it? That's not a block of gold. It can't be. That's not how this works. Um, yeah, so we've got a big old house there we can go and explore for up to, which I think looks kind of cool. Uh, obviously, uh, we've got some loot chests. Not really much in the way of loot. But I imagine if we can find that secret area down below, I don't know where the access point for it is. I mean, we saw that it existed because I we spawned higher up, but I don't know where the actual bit for it is. Is the ah here we go? It's through the forbidden door. I see. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Let's keep following. Let's keep wandering along here, and ah, uh, we got a, got a bunch of areas. Okay. Okay. Yeah, some kill weapon things there. Got random blade in there. There's not a lot of stuff in here. Unless it's random. The stuff you can get. My mice axes in here. I think maybe this is random. Where it's similar to other structure. Uh, Structure drop, structure chest, whatever you want to call it. Other areas, uh, the, the, the may be similar where the, the loot is random. Then, yeah, obviously, we've got this, this from here, which, uh... That's just, that just, that, that. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I f it feels weird going in there. I know this is supposed to be a thing where, like, curses are supposed to spawn and come out here or something, 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 but whatever, this is, uh... Oh, this is freaky. But, yeah, anyways, so there's, this is a killing structure, I think. Uh... Yeah, it's going to spawn in the game. Obviously, now with the latest update, structures are a lot rarer, so you're not going to see it as often. But, yeah, if you find one and there are mobs spawning in it, they'll keep respawning. So, you can have fun coming here and just rebattling things until that place gets absolutely destroyed. And that's not all for the new things. If we uh, wander over here, grab it, don't worry. 
uh, and go over here. And okay, so these two new things here get curse claws and curse scissors. Okay, they don't really, they don't really mean much of anything. No, yeah, they get curse power and stuff. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're three new curse spirits added in. There's three new curse spirits added in, and uh, they're all, I believe, semi grade one or higher. So semi grade one, uh, grade one and higher. So uh, yeah, these are these are some fun new ones. So uh, grabbing a Dory. First off, semi grade one slug. What is this monstrosity? It's a slug is what it is. So, uh, yeah, this thing's semi-grade one. It hits things. Cool. Then we got this thing, which is another one of these, uh, Japanese horror-type deals. Uh, this thing is what the cursed scissors and that are for. It has abilities. It will summon scissors and that on people and use them. <laughs> so, it's not actually doing on it, Dory, so far. But it has the ability to kind of, I, I think it's, like, pinning people, I think. Like... If I summon a few of them, maybe it's because the not strong enough to really justify it. Well, there we go. Okay, yeah, it summons cursed scissors to grab folk. It's a thing they can do, so yeah, new curse thing. Uh, 120 HP is apparently a grade 1 spirit. Neat. Uh, yeah, another another freaky ghostly one, which, I mean, given the theme I do, it's a Kaisen. More freaky ghostly ones are always going to be fun. And then we get this monster here. It's called Forest. This thing is, uh... It, it, Proper, proper old monster, this thing. So, it's also a grade one. Uh, what's that, 200 health? It has a flame, destructive breath, and a cool, uh, animated swipe thing. Proper big old monster, this one. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun just to fight out in the open, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, you think you're safe. Yeah, a grade one beast that has a flamey breath projectile, and, you know, big, big nasty looking thing. I, I love it. This thing looks awesome, in my opinion. I'm... I, I'm never going to be sad, or I'm never going to be disappointed when we see more Cursed Spirits added in. It's always fun getting more Cursed Spirits added in. Also, it means anyone that plays with Cursed Spirit Manipulation is going to have a great time, because they have an army of these monsters helping them. Plus, you get the whole option of if you uh, go get on, grab the thing. You can, uh, obviously, then summon the Cursed Spirit. That's Maximum Uzumaki. That's Centipedes. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, what's this thing called? It's called Forest, isn't it? It's for oh, okay, Forest was already part of the list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can summon the thing, then, you know, they'll follow you, because that's, that's part of the new mechanic thing. Alright, it's meant to be anyway. Are you guys going to follow me? Are you going to try to? They are trying to, they're just really slow, okay. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so that wasn't all the things on this chest. So, this isn't new, this is just Yuki. It's just Yuki, it's just good old Yuki. Uh, Yuki's now an absolutely more terrifying. Uh, Yuki got a new technique. Yuki got her ultimate technique. Yuki got, if we grab Yuki's thing, for Star Rage and that, uh... Yeah, Yuki got a new Star Rage thing, which uh, I'm not entirely sure how you trigger this, so I've never actually tried it, but yeah, I'm going to move a little bit further away because Yuki got her ultimate attack that isn't a domain expansion, because like, her domain expansion was obviously just assumed she had it, but uh, yeah, so if you hold the button for Star Rage... Uh, Star Rage will go into overdrive and create a black hole. <laughs> Basically, the idea is you just hold the button. So if you hold it normal, it'll just got it'll, it'll just it'll just got a little bit. It'll get to hundred. It'll give you a moment to stop. It'll give you a moment to back out and think about what you're doing. If you hold that button for a bit too much longer, though, you, you'll start going off. And you'll yeah, literally turn into an enormous black hole that will destroy everything you're about. Uh, it, things can survive it. It's not a, a guaranteed destruction of everything. Uh, if something has reverse curse, they get a lot of health. They can, they can outlive it. Because this thing will also kill the user. So, you know, it's a, it's a self-detonation. It's a fatal explosion. It's uh, I have decided I'm not winning this fight, so I'm going to take everyone out with me. Button at the end you can press. I <laughs> People, anyone using, like, Yuki in particular, but obviously, like, any player using Star Rage now are just, like, threats for an entirely different reason. Because it's like, yeah, you might be able to beat them. Yeah, but, like, are they going to, you know, nuke at the very end? Uh, if you kill them, if you don't beat them quick enough, maybe. Uh, then you got to hope you can survive after that. You got to hope you're not in a place you like, because it's going. This is a big old explosion. Like, maybe not as big as Sakuna's uh, domain expansion, but, I mean... Yeah, it's it's pretty big. I love the fact this is added. I love the fact this is here. <laughs> and obviously, yeah, Yuki herself can use this one. Because this is what Yuki did use. So, yeah, if we give Yuki a powerful opponent, like, uh... Oh, would she use that against Gato? Maybe. 
Death Gates is going to be strong enough to force her to use it, but we'll give her a go. Yeah, so obviously uh, Yuki will think that if Yuki gets pressed into a corner, she will activate that ability. Which I... <laughs> She's already a terrifying being to fight against. You don't beat her really quickly. She is an absolute monster. I do feel like uh, Gates will might not be the opponent to draw this out of her, though. I might have to, have to bring out someone a tad bit stronger. Oh, look, he's got the slug now, too. Oh, great. Yeah, Gato, every update when you first spirit, Gato gets a power boost as well. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this thing's even more horrific when it gets in the water. Uh, yeah, she's kind of getting bullied right now by the, uh, th that, that, that thing there. That thing there is kind of just destroying her with beams. <laughs> How can I hit from that range? What a nerve. The elephant's absurd. I already knew it was absurd. It's easily one of Gato's best things. It's a semi-grade one. <laughs> It's, it's just incredible though. Also, sound sounds really high for this. What on earth? I don't know. Have I, I adjusted it right? Is the sound going to calm down a bit? I knew it was sounding a bit loud. Possibly I never uh, put the sound high enough, uh, low enough for it. But yeah, anyway, so wait, where did we go? Not a clue. She might have actually beaten them and I wasn't paying attention there. Alright, we'll bring out the trump card then. If anyone's going to draw this kind of energy out of her, it's going to be Sakuna, isn't it? Like, that's. You can you can guarantee Sakuna's gonna be able to do it, right? Because I mean, okay, technically Yuki could maybe beat Sakuna if she uh, gets lucky with some uh, some of her shots and things. But it's not very, it's not super likely. Sakuna normally has the upper hand in these fights. So, in theory, like, Gato's spirits are still here. Where did he go to? <laughs> he decided, nah, I don't really fancy continuing this fight and just fled. What on earth? Unless these things persist after their East destroyed. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, this battle is probably, it probably wasn't a smart idea to do this on the water, like... This is a terrible place to do this battle. That said, Yuki's now on really low HP, is she gonna use it? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, I hear it. There you go. She got close enough. I tried to summon a second second there just to... <laughs> just to see. Uh, yeah, there is, but this is what it looks like. So, uh, yes, the Kuna lives through that. Well, the fresh Sakuna that I summoned lives through that. I don't know about the second one. I summoned two. I summoned one right next to her. He actually got quite injured there before he healed himself. So, uh, not a good opener by any means. But, you know, if you weaken him through his, uh, reverse curse sneak first, it could do some good work. But, yeah, okay. That was, that was Yuki to slide into, uh, nuke the entire area. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. Brilliant technique. I... <laughs> oh, they actually added that in. Like, I, I guess, I think people probably assumed it maybe at some point that might get added in. I wasn't quite sure how they got about adding something like that in. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Pure destruction. Just what we wanted. And speaking of stuff we wanted, I don't know if anyone actually asked for this, because I don't know if anyone even thought of this, but I love that this is a thing. So, uh, all the times I've been opening this, people may have noticed, there's been a bit of a switch around and stuff. Takab is over here. I don't know if he was always over there. He may have been always over there. I don't know. He may have get moved over there a while ago. Uh, more importantly, though, he's been down here. said, curse user and curse spirit. Hello? What, what, what? What's going on here? So, we can now play as a curse spirit if we want to. Which completely changes how our uh, stuff works when we play survival-wise. So, obviously, you play as a curse user. Click on that, nothing changes. I believe by default, you're on curse user. Because if you go curse spirit, you cannot be Maki slash Toji. Because, obviously, you need curse energy, so you can't be that. So, yeah, if you go over the curse spirit, though, it gives you all your selection. If you select here, you will then become a curse spirit user. Well, not curse spirit user, right? a curse spirit. In technicality. So, you, 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 one of those other guys, one of those enemy guys. Dum ba dum. So, if we click the Adori class again, uh, we now are a curse spirit. How do we know that? Because if we go over here, we now have night vision, which is the thing you don't normally get. If we click on it, Adori normally, uh, yeah, you don't get your night vision. So, going curse spirit automatically, you get access to, uh, to that. So, that's fun. You also, I believe, got access to reverse curse technique because curse spirits can heal themselves using curse energy. Or at least that was the thing I get told about in the comments. Alright, so hold on. If we go into uh, survival mode just to experience this a little bit. So obviously, starting stuff off now, you get your health and stuff. You get your natural defenses and abilities and stuff. You get turned to curse energy. Everything seems to be normal there. I think a big key difference with this, assuming this works the way I think it does, is curse spirits won't attack you anymore. You're now friendly with them. So, on the flip side, things like Eldori that he will attack us because now we're a curse spirit. So, yeah. Now, as for tearing up, I believe it would just be the same idea of, you know, fight things, get experience, get stronger as time goes by. That is probably the same. I am curious of these grades would actually do anything for it. If we click this, 
Yeah, so we still get the achievements in grade four sorcerer, and that still increases our grades as a curse by the looks of it. So we can still become special grades through that. So uh, maybe at some point we'll get a different achievement for speaking to that, but as it is right now, it essentially says you're a different grade sorcerer. So all this stuff seems to be pretty much the exact same. Like, not, not much has changed here. But big difference is being we get reverse curse snake pretty much straight away, because curse spirits can, you know, heal themselves using curse energy. Uh, you get night vision. It always seems like plus sides so far from what I'm seeing. Uh, what are the downsides? So curse spirits obviously have a uh, weakness to a very particular type of curse energy, aka negative curse energy, positive curse energy, aka the general sword will really mess you up. So, uh, yeah, certain techniques and stuff are going to hurt way more than they did before. And obviously now you get the flip side of Ral now, then Sakuna net coming for you, you have Gojo net going for you, so take from that what you will. Uh, I mean, okay, that's just a, it's a different way to play the game. You can obviously play like you would, except, you know, you're basically flipped on to the different team. Yeah, I feel like, you know, hit the thing. We're currently doing 73 damage and stuff. Cool. Uh, the other part of this that comes in. So, obviously, Cursed Spirits have the thing of the Eat Curse objects to get stronger, typically. Uh, right now, we have a Sakuna Finger thing going on here. So, uh, normally, Sakuna Fingers, you can only eat them if you're one of very few classes. At which point, you can become Sakuna part, unless you're in creative mode. And... At that point, either you're going to be Itadori, and you're going to go into Sakuna mode, and, you know, it'll turn off eventually. Or you're going to play a different class, and you're going to lose control. You're going to be just permanent Sakuna mode. You lose access to getting achievements, because at that point, you're letting Sakuna do all the work, technically. And, uh, I mean, yeah, if you're not, you just die to them. Yeah, so we're a cursed spirit, though. So we just evolve, essentially, from eating this. Now, it's not the same as if we were a curse uh, user. Because we're a cursed spirit, we just get a raw power up from this thing. So, basically, yeah, we don't get the finger saying, hey, so can I moan, boom, boom, Instead, what's meant to happen, from what I've been told, is we get a power boost. Which, uh, my strength still says 73, right now, so that's not really changed. We're supposed, I believe if people say we got a power boost, and we get a cursed energy boost. Which hasn't manifested right now. Hold on, eat some more. Yeah, there we go. Two fingers deep. Now we get 200 extra energy. And now I did 76 damage. Okay, I think it's doing that thing, maybe, where if I, like, die, I would get... It'd go up a finger. But, um, yeah, so basically, if you keep eating... Oh, it's every two fingers it does something. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how they're work. That's how they're working. Okay, okay. But, yeah, so we're now 11 fingers deep, and now we're getting 91 damage. Cool, we now have, like, 5,000 curse energy. Eat nine more. And, uh, yes, yeah, so every two. So, basically, I think the number I get told... Cause I, I got a comment telling me about this stuff, which was very nice of them to tell me, because that... Uh, it, hel it helps solve any potential math things and that, that I would have been thinking of. But, I mean, the number to speak for itself there. We had 4,000 curse energy. That was your normal max before. And then we have 6,000 curse energy. You got 50% curse energy boost if you all oh, 20 sticking your fingers. So, you don't get the 18,000 going to kind of mode, but you are still your own person. You are still just a curse spirit. We also now hit for 100 and So, we're getting a power boost from this. It's not as significant a boost as being folks to kind of mode, but we're now just an enhanced curse. Which is kind of awesome, because it means, yeah, a different way to play Sakuna mode. Oh, so wait, we're playing as Itadori right now. If we switch over to, let's say, Mega Meme for this. Uh, obviously, still get giving stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. Curse Spirit Mega Meme. There we go. Uh, yeah, if we click over to this and boom ba -dum, I don't know if we technically still have the fingers eaten. Yeah, we still do that one damage. So, obviously, it plays a different thing. You do slightly less damage than what you would if you were Itadori. Uh, you still got all your curse techniques and stuff, even though you're a curse spirit, because they, they can know curse techniques. So, it makes sense. Uh, but I think one of the bigger ones is obviously Itadori lets you punch harder. Then you've got, uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is, where is your tongue? That one. But, um, uh, Yuta obviously comes with 8,000 curse energy. If we were to eat some Sakura figs, Zim. Sorry, went into the wrong one. That one, there we go. Okay, so it's actually still remembering the fact I ate the curse finger. So if you switch over classes, you will keep the curse finger thing anyway. But yeah, so you uh, obviously has double the curse energy. The normal curse user would have. So rather than having 8,000, or having 6,000 if you were base in Sakura mode, you'll go up to 12,000. <laughs> and be even stronger. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. So I love this. I, I never expected this. I never thought that this would be added to the game. But yeah, essentially you can now play as a curse spirit. So if you want to live your dream of playing as Jogo. 
Uh, you can if you want to eat a bunch of the curse fingers to enhance yourself even further, which is cur curse fingers eat curse objects. So, I mean, maybe potentially in the future there'll be a thing for you eating other things on the curse fingers to potentially power yourself. That could, I don't know, who knows? Possibly. That was, it's a fun idea anyway. But yeah, anyway, I think that does it for this little mod review. So yeah, a bunch of fun new mechanics, some fun new curses, some fun new techniques. Uh, or variations of techniques in terms of the closed, uh, closed domains. Uh, yeah, Yuki gets, uh, Yuki? Uh, Yuki gets a nuke, basically. <laughs> Which is awesome, and yeah, we can now play as the group spirit. We gotta kill a new structure. Just a really solid update, this one, with a bunch of new fun things to try out. So, uh, yeah, no, the idea of playing as, uh, the man himself, Jogo, is not out of the world. You could actually experience playing as Jogo if you want to. Curse spirit and all, you could be friends with other curses fight against the evil or whatever you want to phrase it maybe you want to be the bad guy you want fight against the enemies that is the currently uh the sorcerers and all that that's just... oh well the new possibilities has opened up but yeah anyway so that's it for this little one of you though thank you all very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the show let us know in the comments what stuff would you like to see get added to the mod because at this point it seems like anything's just potentially possible because you never really know what you're going to get next with this mod it's fantastic it's full of surprises Never saw this coming, but here we are. Now I'm loving it. But yeah, I'll also lay out links down below if you want to check the mod out. It's obviously for 1.20.1 Minecraft. And yeah, it's in version 29 of the mod now, which... Oh, it's a fantastic update, in my opinion. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Catch you the next time for whatever mod review thingy I end up doing next. Go! Bye, everybody. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the Johnny member Sebastian Ramsey and the Unbu member Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Bato, bato, bato.